Greetings, housemates, and welcome back to another episode of Learn to Play Endless Legend. We're going to be taking another look at districts as we are about to complete our Museum of Origa. Um, we surpassed whoever it was that was chasing us. Probably uh, a large part of it would be um, what sealed our victory, I would say is the Titan Bones booster we got from an earlier quest. Uh, really nice windfall. Um, lucky break. You don't always have that. Um, but of course, we are highly production focused here. Now, the museum is about to complete. Um, and there's a couple things that you should do to optimize that. For one, remember the museum was a 500 industry cost thing, which means you really want a governor around there for when it completes. Fortunately, our governor has done his work well, and we have more population in our second city than we do in even our first city. So, um, let's bring him back. Uh, we also made sure that he would be um, available for reassignment. That is, he had five turns to wait it out at the other city um, before the museum finished so that he would be able to come back. All right, so he's back. That's awesome. Um, Museum of Origa is ready to go. Um, let's consider what we're going to build next because we want our overflow um, industry to go somewhere. And my thought is, well, there's a couple things we want to build. One is, uh, if you look at our city's shape, we've got one, two, three. To get to the next most stable shape for us, is a nice little triangle. If we can build three districts, one, two, three, um, then we can complete our triangle and we can start being really efficient because each of these three interior districts will level up to level two. Um, and we can actually do that really fast if we pay attention. What kind of attention you say? Um, let's go back one. The kind of attention in that, let's consider, so, the interior ones are going to be the ones that level up instantly. So what do we want in the interior? Well, we've already said the museum is going to be one of those. Uh, and the other most desirable, of course, would be this industrial megapole. Um, so we're going to want that. Um, and of course, we want to build it before anyone else. Thankfully, we had the titanium and glass steel to go straight into it. Uh, so boom. And then what would cap this off? Well, the Altar of Origa is a sweet bonus, and um, that would be great. That would be just great. Uh, and it finishes really fast. Um, we do have to wait for this uh, museum to finish first. Also, we want construction to go as quickly as possible. And, you know, if, if you watched the Minor Faction video I did just recently, then you'll know that Having a pacified village will give us a new population point and it'll increase how much we get um, for food and industry per person, uh, which is a pretty big boost for us since that means six population, that's at least six extra industry, that's 10 more industry, which is, you know, an eighth. Um, so we should probably rebuild this Sisters of Mercy village um, now that we're not racing. Um, obviously we're racing for the industrial megapole, but I don't think anyone else can compete with us. Uh, the museum was a much closer race, and we can afford to take a single turn, just one turn, to get a new population point, um, as well as a nice industry per person boost from slavery, which our governor is providing because he's back. So, um, this is how I want to approach it. After the industrial megapole, we're going to throw up the altar of Origa at the little crown of our city, and we'll have a nice little six district triangle, um, which is the first step in having a beautiful, like pff, 10 district or 15 district city. Um, but uh, let's see how all of this plays out. All right, there is our museum. It'll also be important to see, remember what exactly the museum does. Oh, look, it captured that little ball, uh, cool. Okay, we are the first to build it. No one else can ever build it. They'll all get refunds for their time, money, and resources spent. Uh, well, not their time, but the resources they'll get back. Um, but we get the sweet Museum of Origa ourselves. 
plus 20 approval per level of museum on Oroga. Remember, that's just for the city that it's in. Um, 20, as long as the empire is happy, um, we get 20% more dust and 20% more science. Remember that being a happy empire already provides 15 more dust and science. So that's awesome. And remember, a fervent empire will now give us 50% more dust and science. So keeping our approval maxed out is going to be real important to us. Uh, also, as long as our empire is happy, um, not the city, but our empire, we get a 20% cost reduction across the whole empire. What? 20% off everything forever. I will take it. All right, it, Lenny just rocked the house and finished up everything faster than I would have thought. Uh, but let's go back. We're going to focus on this first. Okay. Um, so we're building the Sisters of Mercy. Note that the overflow from the museum was actually more than half of the production of the Sisters of Mercy. Uh, make sure to have, uh, make sure not to do what I do and wind up with an empty construction queue or you lose that overflow. Um, wah, wah. Uh, but, okay, we're going to finish that. Now it's time to say we want the altar of Origa here. Uh, also note that this city's approval rating just skyrocketed um, because we're getting 20 uh, approval from here. Uh, and our empire is actually fervent, which means we're getting now we're getting 50% more science and dust across the empire, even though this city is only happy. Remember that empire approval is an average and city approval is whatever it says up here. It doesn't depend on other cities. Um, so we're gonna finish the Sisters of Mercy. They're gonna add some industrialness because we're gonna put those ladies to work. Um, the industrial megapole will finish up. Note the altar would only take two turns to build. Um, and uh, it doesn't have any negative effects. Uh, sadly, it's not going to instantly level up any of our districts. Um, if we build it here, um, that's just optimal for the future. Um, the reason we're building it here instead of the Megapole uh, is because we want the Megapole to instantly reach level 2, not the Altar. The Altar will be reach level 2 when we build a couple more districts, um, but it reaching level 2 isn't really that important um, because look at what it does. We get five approval, three food, and two influence um, per level of the altar, and it unlocks the ability to spin pearls. Um, that's not a huge bonus compared to 25 industry. What? 25 industry? Um, and, or um, the Museum of Origa, because the museum's actually going to give us where to go? Um, Twenty additional approval when it levels up. So, putting the altar out here is easy. And since we need more influence, um, it is Empire Plan time already. Uh, let's go ahead and finish up the altar early, so that all the while the Megapoles building, we're stocking up on this influence and food that it provides. All right, so this is my founding plan for our six tile triangle city. Um, since we're crushing it with the legendary deeds, uh, it's gonna be a really powerful, really happy city, um, which is gonna do wonders for our empire uh, well into the future. So thank you so much for watching. Um, since we're actually on board to complete, oh yeah, the um, industrial megapole uh, as is, I think I might actually um, skip out on hydrology and switch over to management sciences as management scientist scales much better um, with your empire's um, size with more cities than hydrology does. And it looks like we're not going to need the canal locks to beat anyone out on the industrial megapole because we're just going to have such a better city and um, so much more uh, time. We're just going to start first. Uh, so 
I'm going to cancel that. We do lose all of the research we spent, but uh, it means I get started on science sooner and I can come back and grab this later. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it helps you understand districts a little bit better and city planning a little bit more, as well as how to really get the most out of your cheap and awesome uh unique districts uh, both the legendary deeds the altar of Origa, and of course you can do the same thing with a dock note that the altar right is way cheaper than building a burrow our next burrow has twice as much industrial requirement as the altar does uh, which is awesome uh, plus of course as soon as this megapole finishes everything's uh, er, well okay it and um, this museum will reach level two which are going to be further boons for our good city. All right, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.